Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Anime on Draft, episode 32. I am once again joined with my co-hosts, Rolando. Hey. And Uncle Drew. Why am I everyone's uncle? Well, I called you Uncle Drew before, and then your stuff died. So Uncle Drew died, but now he's back from the dead. Mm. Well, well, fuck. Well, I'm everyone's <clears throat> uncle now. Uncle. Uncle Sam. Um, so today we've got a little different episode. It seems like it's pretty typical the past few times um, since uh, the the beer that Drew picked is uh, awfully hard to find anywhere outside of uh, Northern California, which seems to be true for some of the uh, limited release uh, brews from uh, Lagunitas. Uh, Rolando and I had a different uh, beer, but Drew, you picked up the Wilco Tango Foxtrot by Lagunitas. Uh, how about you uh, talk about that, uh, that one a little bit? What type of beer and all that jazz? Yeah, it's like you said, um, those limited releases, I guess, are a lot harder to find where you guys are compared to where I am at right now. Um, I got it at Vaughn, so I thought it would be like okay to find, but I'm... An idiot so it's not okay to find um but yeah it's it's a um it's an ale it, they call it a recovery ale uh with like malt and a bunch of other craziness it's like 8.6 percent alcohol by volume um it it tastes like it says super malty um it's not really like anything i've ever had before honestly um and i didn't like it very much <laughs> i didn't end up <laughs> drinking the whole bottle because it was like it just tasted like malt but it like was burnt malt so it <clears throat> it wasn't like a good flavor and then there's like coffee notes and it's like this thing is trying to be a stout but it's an ale and it was like lost in translation for me um so yeah not not very good. It's it's not a bad thing that you guys couldn't find this, uh, in my in my opinion. <laughs> very cool. So, um, you said it's bad. I I guess uh, we should just start with your rating. And how would you rate it then out of five? Doesn't sound like it's gonna be good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I I don't I I can't remember the last time I couldn't finish a beer that like I thought was like that bad. Cause I'll usually like finish it. I mean, we had like that, what was it like that marshmallow thing? And that was pretty brutal. <laughs> um, and yeah, this was, this was up there with it. Um, I don't know. I'll give it like, uh, it's just, it has no identity. And so that's, that's why it's, it's hard. Cause it's like, it's, it's caught in between a ale and a stout and it's just, it, it doesn't work. So, I'm gonna give it a 1.75. Um, wow. Yeah, it it, it, Cut. it wasn't it wasn't good. <laughs> I didn't like it, and Cut. it's it's weird because I usually I usually like things from Lagunitas, but this was uh, yeah it was Cut. interesting to say yeah it, it it's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'm glad we couldn't find it then because uh, it doesn't sound like it was all that promising. How was um, your beer, guys? Was your beer good? Yeah, actually. Well, I enjoyed it, but our beer was, uh, so, uh, Rolando and I and two of our other friends, uh, met up this past weekend and hung out and I got to where we were first. So I picked up some beers and one of them was, I picked purely because it was a bottle called barrel roll and, uh, it's from hangar 24. It's their barrel roll series and it's called Pugachev's Cobra. And it's actually, I have a picture up here on my phone, so let me pull that up because it turned off. One second. It is a Russian Imperial Stout brewed with maple syrup and aged in bourbon barrels. Um, this one was good. about, I on the label, I read it as 13.5%, but upon searching it on the internet, it seems like most of them are 18.5%. <laughs> so... 
I had had a little bit to drink prior to reading that, so maybe I misread it. Um, and by a little bit to drink, I mean four beers. Uh, so, anyways, uh, Rolando, what what did you think of this beer? I I'll, let's start out with you, sir. Uh, it was it was good. Um, it had like I could definitely taste like the bourbon, um, mm-hmm. the bourbon barrel. Like it actually tasted like a bourbon barrel, which was a little odd because I did actually feel like I was tasting a bit of oak um which was interesting because you know like it yeah it was Asian like bourbon casks but it it was a little weird but that didn't really detract from the beer too much mm-hmm. um because like you're supposed to like the reason why like they're aged in the oak is because it's supposed to like inhibit some of the flavor into the or not inhibit, infuse some of the flavor into the, um, the spirit. But in this case, like I got, um, like a lot of Oak, which was kind of a little weird, but I don't know how you felt about that. Um, I mean, I kind of got a little Oak, but I think I got more bourbon than I got Oak. Um, not sure. Like I said, I'd had a solid amount of beers before that. So my palate could have been a little muted to flavors, <laughs> um, mm-hmm. but I got the maple for sure. The maple was kind of like right at the start. You got that kind of like mapley sweetness, at least for me. And then around the center, you got that bourbon oak flavor. And then at the end, I it was like it was maybe it was more weird, of the oak at the right? end. It yeah. was, the end was odd. It was like a roasty, oaky, sweet, yeah, the, bitter aftertaste. That was the odd weird thing because you get the it oak, wasn't bad, though. but it <laughs> it was like a very sugary aftertaste. Yeah, it was interesting. It I wouldn't say like the aftertaste was odd, but not to me, not in a bad way. Um, in like a just what is this sort of way. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Yeah, <laughs> but um, I don't know. It was good. I liked it. And now I'm reading again. It seems like the percentage of alcohol content varies. So we could have had a 13.8%. And then that doesn't make me sound like an alcoholic misreading things after drinking a couple of beers. <laughs> um, it's just liquor. Oh. You just drank liquor. Yeah, that's that's Bailey's right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, we had a 2015, 2015's was 13.8, I guess. Anyways, so um, all in all, what'd you, uh, how would you uh, rate it, Rolando? Uh, it was good. Uh, there are some parts of it that was weird, but I mean, I think it was a good beer. The alcohol content was very high and you couldn't really, like I didn't know that it was that high until... Like you had pointed it out and mm-hmm. I didn't even know it just generally 18%, but that's even more surprising. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it had an interesting set of flavors. I, I did enjoy it and it was, it's, it's kind of like rich and mm-hmm. I can't imagine myself drinking more than like maybe a glass or two, but you know what I, don't I think you'd want to. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what I had was good, and so I'm gonna say like a three seven five. Fair enough. Um, I I think I, I tend to agree. It comes in a big bottle. It comes in a wine bottle. Um, it was a high alcohol content, but it doesn't taste like it. And the bourbon flavor was it was like a good bourbon flavor. It wasn't like you know how sometimes you get the bourbon barrel beers and the bourbon flavors kind of shitty. Uh, I was pretty good here. Um, I am a big fan of Russian Imperial stouts and I would probably buy this one again. If I had people drinking it with me, I would not. You don't want to drink that whole bottle whole thing. No, it's a little too much. <laughs> uh, this would be a really good, like after dinner beer for sure. Um, like as a dessert, not really 
Like, it was good by itself, but I think it would have been better if we had had other flavors before, you know, something to, and then it could balance that out. Um, I think it would also be good with a cigar, maybe. But, you know, anyway, so I actually think I'm going to give this um, a 4. Maybe a 4.25. Let's go 4.25 for me. I actually really liked it. Nice. That odd uh, end flavor was odd, but not unappealing. <laughs> Where'd you guys get it at? I want to get it. I want to try it. It sounds good. I got it from a random liquor store. A random liquor store. Got it. Yes. I was looking. <laughs> okay. So I was looking for Mexican food because I was hungry. And on my way to find Mexican food, I saw a random liquor store and was like, hmm, we don't have any beer. So I bought some beer and then drank most of it. But um, that's besides the point. And then, uh, and then I got Mexican food and that's where I got it. It was literally at the bottom left of a random one of those liquor store refrigerators, you know, like at a gas station. I was like, hey, that looks cool. Wow, it's called Barrel Roll. I'll buy it. And then found out it's Tanger 24 and found out it's pretty good. There you All go. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna try so to find it. you Sounds should. Good. It's uh, you should. actually don't, worth don't it. Try to, don't try to find the one that I drank. No, it's impossible. <laughs> I won't. It's impossible. <laughs> Maybe that's Touch why it's brew. not available all over the place. They're like, people don't like it. We'll just... Yeah, people, people think it we'll sucks. We'll leave it. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and move on into our uh, weekly pairing anime. The first one we've got, as always, Love is Like a Cocktail. It's the nice short, short episode. We have episode nine. The drink this week was called a Zoom, and it was what? Cognac and... And uh, cream? Like honey. heavy cream and honey, heavy cream and honey. Um, and this episode was all about hugs. Apparently, hug. Everybody hug. a 30 second 30 hug seconds. will make you happy and more professional, apparently, because yeah. they hugged and then she was like, boom. Wow. She's so professional. Don't know why, but may it, it works. So do it and then have a zoom. Dude, the, the husband of uh, the main girl, dude, he's, like, such a bro to all of uh, the other bros in the show because, like, he hugs her and gets laid out of it. And then uh, <laughs> and then uh, he she hugs her co-worker who then in turn goes home and hugs her husband and then they bang. So he's just – he's looking out for everybody. He's getting yeah, people he's, drunk. He's cooking bomb-ass food. He's getting people laid. Like, <clears throat> what a god. What a real a real homie. He's the true wingman. He doesn't even need to be there, and he's wingmanning people. Yep. Yeah. Heroic. That's mythic level, dude. Damn. Legend, wait for it, dairy, because there's dairy in the drink this week. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. (laughs) Anything to add, (laughs) Rolando? (laughs) No. I mean, you guys pretty much covered it. Although I think um, (laughs) it's nice that we do see some of the other characters that have appeared mm-hmm. in this short series like her kind of friend rival chick mm-hmm. person yeah mm-hmm. so it was nice right yeah it is cool i actually like that friend rival she seems like kind of a a fun character to to have around um but let's go on into our next uh next show we'll we'll get off the short show and give it a very short amount of time and it's cucked. Okay. Um, so we no, got no, no. The, uh, the beer I drank was cucked. That, that the beer you drank cucked. was cucked. All right. <laughs> um, the what is it? Uh, recovery of an MMO junkie. Is that the whole word? Yeah. Recovery of an yeah. MMO junkie is our next show that we got today. Um, this one was pretty lit, personally. I thought so. Um, all Lights. quick, quick a synopsis. Uh, the he she like ends up at his house and she's naked and they bang. Well, I mean well, they don't bang. They don't bang but. I know. <laughs> so this is, this is Japan. They don't they don't bang in Japan. Oh, of course not. Yeah, there's no sex in Japan. That's why there's no children. Declining birth rates and you know, all that. <laughs> They're all too that busy person. overworking themselves. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rolando, what 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 did you think of this episodio? Uh, I mean, I was getting a little irritated personally, be, not because of the episode, but because when I was trying to watch it, it kept uh, buffering. Ah, uh, I don't know. Buffer. I don't know what was Crunchy wrong roll. with the crunchy roll, but like lately, 
just like episodes will buffer for mm-hmm. a long time. Um, yeah, I had that, uh, that mm-hmm. issue as well. But I mean, the content was fun. I kind of uh, was just thinking to myself, like, why don't you two just get a room already? Well, and then they end up <laughs> in his room at the end. Uh, <laughs> but I I do like that uh, uh, Sakurai's friend Koiwai kind of pushed them together because like we initially don't know what his motives are but i guess he was actually you know going to be a bro he like understood yeah he understood from his date with um moriko that she always was just constantly talking about sakurai and then i like obviously he hangs out with sakurai all the time so he Mm -hmm. knows that he just like is infatuated with um Oriko. So it's nice that he kind of pushes them together and then they end up in that, you know, awkward situation where she ends up staying at or I mean going over to his place, but yeah. Uh, we I'm have, interested uh, to see what happens in the next episode. We have two two bro uh what's it no in this episode we have two uh epic wingmen. We got Love is Like a Cocktail Wingman and Koi Wai Senpai, yeah. who is also a real bro and wingman guy. Bro. I just want to I just want to point out how fucking bad that uh, Sakurai got cut by uh, the convenience store woman. That was that was fucking hilarious. Uh, they they end up going into the uh, after they meet up in the park. Uh, Koi Wai sets them up or whatever. They go to the convenience store to get something to eat. And for one, why isn't Sakurai? He's he's big big business salary man. Why is he taking her to a convenience store to get food? Um, that just infuriated me. But then they 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 get in there, and then the the old lady who uh, runs the place, or like one of the managers, just like sees them all the time. He's like, "Oh hey, uh, are you uh, are you two dating or whatever?" And she fucking loses her shit. Like that was fucking well, hilarious. They're both being little insecure shits. Yeah. He's like, "Oh, she said let's be friends. Oh, uh, she must have friend zoned me." And it's like you're <laughs> retarded. She clearly just wants to continue whatever you've got going but and he's and she's insecure and then she goes oh are you are you his boyfriend and then she goes into her own head and it shows like the convenience store um owner lady and she's like looks all sinister Evil. like oh this isn't your girlfriend is it uh, and she's like, she's like she must have meant it that way i'm an embarrassment to him like what the fuck is wrong with you people and then it starts to rain, and they go back to his place, and she gets naked, and they bang. Well, they don't well, bang, but maybe it's naked. implied. <laughs> if you're getting naked out of two towels, see, you're banging, right? Like, is it, isn't it like in Japanese culture too? Like, you're supposed to like bathe before you bang too. It's like what the right way to do it. But there, <laughs> she was just taking a shower because she was in the rain. She was warming she was up. Cold, uh, but she wants it. Yeah. Yeah. But so does he. He's trying to sneak a peek, he giving de- her clothes. He, desper- he desperately wants it. Like, she He's just, trying to just wants peek, it. Dude. And he, like, holy shit, like, come out. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I also have to point out, we have another. This this episode was funny because it kept, like, a lot of the, the elements that have been going through. Like, her stomach growls. And she's just embarrassed as fuck again. Um, and then I like Koi Wai. He's got the picture of her sleeping and he's just like, I wonder what she would do if I sent her this now or something like that. Just like they have some good, like comedic moments amidst the more serious. So good. I think the, uh, I think the only gripe I have with this show is that we don't have more development of, uh, some of the other characters who actually play the story. Like, I feel like we saw that one time, um, the uh, cat-eared girl, and she's, like, blonde college student in real life. We saw her, like, once, and it just kind of, like, that, she was, like, interested in the guild leader, and then it just dropped back. That, that and, is exactly yeah. what I thought <laughs> when I was watching the, um, because you know, like, how she shows up in the, the theme song? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, it shows her, like, looking through the, I guess, the it, door eye hole. I was just like, oh, yeah, yeah where did this girl go? Where the next episode's the last. It feels like 
it 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 feels like they were it was like planned that they were going to show like their relationship and then it just didn't happen. <laughs> I don't know. They don't have enough I, time. Cuz I agree with you. It's like the the opening shows like all those characters and like you get a lot of development of um what's the green-haired dude's name? Um the guild leader or whatever. Yeah, uh, I know who you're talking about. Conde. I only know Kanbe. his I only know his in-game name. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, he gets like a lot of development. He's actually a really good character, and like you, you feel for this dude like working at the convenience store, and he's like still a kid or whatever. And it's like you're interested in him, and and then it's like this hot college chick is kind of into him, and like is for like one and a half or like a half episode is like all about it, and then oh that character like comes back for a half mm-hmm. a second, maybe every show. <laughs> I don't know. And that's it. That's my that's my only gripe with it. But other than that, I I, I do really like this show. Um, it's it's a it's it's predictable, but it's it's super fun. It's mm-hmm. I I just like it. It's I good. like I want it. I you know I think if I want to get another episode or another season because I want to see like the other characters, but I don't think it will. So it makes me interested in reading it. Yeah, I Maybe feel like more it's, there. It's an it's a typical one of those shows that is there to garner interest for the readers. Yeah. Or, I mean, for the, for the viewers to read, I mean, Mm -hmm. be like, Oh, you want to see more? Go read the manga or the, yeah. And like, I don't know. That's what it seems like to me too. Yeah, Cause we talked about the quality too. Like the quality is like, obviously not up to like Shokugeki levels and, and shows like that. It's, it's, it's like, we want to say it's here to garner a little bit of uh, new viewership or new readership, I guess. Uh, Mm -hmm. So, but they did a good job. It's a good story. Yeah, it's a fun show to watch. And, uh, you know, we'll definitely keep watching it. And, you know, fingers crossed, one maybe more. they'll come out with another another season. So yeah, One one more episode, so. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, uh, God damn it. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and move on. Um, from, from MMO Junkie, we'll move into... Our happy hour time, probably one of my favorite shows of the season. We've got a little uh, a sisters all you need, right? A little sisters all you need. Uh, mm-hmm. Emoto san is all you need. Um, and uh, this week in uh, in the lives of our favorite, very perverted uh, artist people, we have we have the the new manga artist, right? She came out with how she's gonna draw his story and uh the 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 scene where the main heroine is naked gets seen naked by the um hero is she puts clothes on panties on her basically and uh we find out that she is a underwear fetish fetishist as they put it i believe and uh and then there's clashing and some pretty lit panty face wearing that was a uh, pretty a okay hand emoji um <laughs> so, so she gets Drew, off. i'm sure you have huh? i just want to say she gets off to like wearing her own panties on her face yeah What's so wrong with that I, uh, i'm pretty sure you loved this episode right drew yeah 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 especially the yeah. hotel yeah 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 <laughs> so of course i of course i of course i love this episode this episode was sick dude it starts this episode off, is pretty lit it starts off you know, draw, you, you know, it's, it's these great drawings and we have like this fucking roundabout like battle between, um, you know, the, the writer and the artist and, you know, there's the uh, editors there as well. And they're just like all like weird idiots, like arguing over the stupid scene of whether she should wear panties or not. And then, but of boy, course she should, but boy, who I, I'm going to call him the artist who grabs butts of random children in the streets shows random up. random boys <laughs> random air quotes boys air quotes yeah. he, he shows up and is like this scene obviously needs to be drawn it has the needs the heroine drawn naked and so he gets in there and it's like i challenge you uh manga uh, artist uh to draw the scene and what does she do she takes her bow which is actually a pair of uh, beautiful white pantsuit, silky, and throws that shit on her face. Now, yep. how she how she breathes correctly, you know, they're, we don't they're know. cotton. 
We don't cotton. Know. No, it's so know? that she doesn't, so that she doesn't accidentally spit on her art or like smudge <laughs> anything, you know, or drool, drool on, on it. it. Yeah, it's for protection. She she wore them on her head by accident one day and realized that hey, my art's better because I don't fuck it up. That's um, what happened. Rolando, what's what's the other show with the character who does this? It's like Shimonetta. Is is that is that one? They have like a panties wearing character. In it. Well, yeah, they wear the panties on their face when they do their uh, their sex terrorism. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, that's that's a thing. Yeah, go watch Shimonet. Go watch Shimonet to do that shit. It's a fucking talk. Talk about a satire. Sex farce. terrorism. Like, yeah. Oh my god. That, that I feel that like show. that should be the name of this episode. <laughs> the most the most sex late character terrorism. from that from that show. Um, Unfortunately, her voice actress, I think she passed away this year or something. Yeah. Uh, so let's all uh, okay. rip. Let's rest all send in our, our rest our in pieces. We're not our sending our dongers. Hopefully one. Our, our, our sex terrorists. Our sex terrorists. Please don't. Please don't listen to this gentleman. <laughs> He's a heathen. To, and we're a fool. trying to <laughs> offer a humble tribute to someone from the industry and uh, drew is uh, trying to s- sex donger. send his donger <laughs> no, sex sex terrorism um did you know that uh, doing anything with a donger and a dead person is illegal so i had to avoid that <laughs> yeah but yeah. so we get this scene they draw it <laughs> they draw it they decide uh you know they decide that you know it is it does look better for panty with panties on it for now but that wasn't even the most lit scene of uh, this episode where where we got to we got to move on we got to go to uh, the hotel room where we have uh, Nayu in there and she's going in on this chick she's like you fucking bitch my dream no, is she to was going have in her. oh well, yeah she was going into her <laughs> well they were kind of both going in but uh, we'll get there but Nay- Nayu's like my dream is to have sex and you know walk around naked all day and what you're doing in here is coming in here and changing that ideal for me and that's not acceptable and she throws off her clothes and she's like bitch i bet you don't even know how to draw naked boobs because you've never like felt another girl's boobs and then it just keeps it keeps going and and eventually everyone ends up naked (laughs) everyone's fucking naked at the end everyone's grabbing opi and panties are flying and my god i was i was telling rolando this is an episode where if, if you're watching anime and someone you like don't really know very well or like your parents like will come and like walk in and see this and then just like slowly walk away and close the door and and you can't explain it because there's there's no there's no explaining what's going on there's like screaming and moaning and <laughs> nakedness and you're just like well, there is a reason I watch anime mm. with headphones on. It's uh this Naked. this episode this episode Naked. goes into the uh, <laughs> disappoint your parents starter pack right there. Um, <laughs> you know if you're if you're if you're gonna be watching you know these kind of shows you're you're all, you're all in you're full in weeb. Uh, so a couple a, one thing I want to note about this: if you are a girl and you enjoy having your boobs fondled, find a manga a manga artist because apparently they're good with their fingers, so they're good yeah. at that. That's yeah, what we that's learned true. from this episode. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's what we learned. So if you like that sort of thing, seek that out and you're good to go. Um, according to this show, I can't speak to that because I've never had my breasts fondled by a manga artist. So, you yeah, know, maybe that's at your you own risk. Into. Yeah, it's probably better than a professional uh, groper. Butt groper. Yeah. Yeah. Or a sex terrorist. <laughs> uh, um, the other thing I want to mention is the fucking... The the butt groper artist, <clears throat> he he doesn't just say right now, he doesn't just say she needs to be naked. He goes, yeah, keep the bra, whatever, but her ass should be bare. <laughs> like that's what he says. He he's just an ass man. Go, yeah, yeah he, he's a he's total full, ass he's man. Full in. He's, he's full in. He he would uh, <laughs> do well in prison school. Yeah, <laughs> and prison a booty groper. Yeah, <laughs> and, and prison. prison. As a booty for, groper for for groping minors, because that's what God. he does. He actually did. Well, that. I don't think his uh, the sis the the brother sister is a minor. Isn't she supposed to be like twenty? No, she no she's school. like sixteen or something. 
Oh, I thought they said she was 20 and he's like 25 or some shit. Are we going all in on that theory that that's a girl? I'm going it's all in girl. on that theory. That's a girl. Like, it's definitely like we're, a girl. We're committed, we're committed we're, to that. I'm, I'm right. committed it's to that. It's definitely a girl. You don't have to be committed it's to that. It's definitely a girl. <laughs> it's definitely a girl. I'm... I mean, I'm 100% on that theory right maybe, there. Maybe we'll get resolution to that. That would be nice. That would be nice, but who knows at this point? Sub-Sub's Nobody lit, knows. Sub Sub is fucking sick. Yes. This, this show this show gets like a nine rating for me already just because of this episode. It's, it's, <laughs> it's probably going to get more because this episode is fucking sick. Oh, a 9.8, oh, dude? It got a, it got a rise out of you rating-wise? Oh. Well, it got a Reese's oh. dunge- Dungeon. Rise I don't know dungeon. a Reese. I only know a Rise. Yeah, Rise. R Y R I Z E dungeon. Yeah, Faker? especially when you go through the mirror. Yeah, you have to go through <laughs> the mirror. You have to go through the mirror to, to get into that dungeon. dungeon. Oh my god. Dude, I, I died. That mirror killed me so many times. I just went in and died. It's bullshit. Yeah, because he forgot to let his head go through, so he just <clears throat> got beheaded every time. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. I did the wrong head. Persona, Persona 4, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Still haven't finished it. Still haven't finished yeah. it. Because yeah, this episode apparently I don't have to. Because there's better yeah, you, games out there. No, you got Well, Doki Doki Literature Club. That's that's something every, <laughs> everybody should play. Don't get me started on that, dude. I'll, I'll play I'll that. Go, I'll play that I'll instead of uh, instead of uh, Persona 4. You should. You should play both. Instead. Oh no, God. one or the other. There's only one choice in this world. So Man. let's go ahead and move on. <laughs> um... Getting, we got one I'm last getting, show. I'm getting butt hurt right now. Good. Just Good. don't let that ass man come get me. Oh, no, he's already right behind you. Ass man's there with you. Why do you think <laughs> oh, your butt God. hurts? Oh, what God. do you think you've been sitting he's, on this whole time? <laughs> he's there with the sex terrorist terrorizing you sexually. <laughs> That's what they do, dude. That's what they do. That's what the sex terrorists do. They're terrorizing you sexually. <laughs> And on that note, we've got Food Wars, Shokugeki no Soma. Um, don't don't so, Google sex terrorist. Don't. It's probably don't. not a good idea. Good. Yeah, so on that throw note. That out, throw, throw that out there. Be, be safe out there. <laughs> we, have, we have the uh, the Polar Star uh, dormitory and polar fucking storm. Polar Storm. And uh, <laughs> Soma have won their have won their respective battles. Although I'd say the Polar Storm battle was a little more um, lit, for sure, with smoke bombs and such. And, and they've started... And hoses, yeah. Yeah. And, and just, old ladies. Old ladies. I don't know what that has to do with anything. But yeah, old ladies. <laughs> um, yeah. And so they have now commenced... What do they call it? Operation... Uh, hu- oh, no, they just call it Hunting the Survivors. <laughs> Where now all the elite ten and the central people are hunting, 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 hunting all of the, yes, they're hunting all of the people's or like the organizations to shut them down. Research and, uh, societies or whatever, yeah. The ones mm-hmm. that are challenging them to shokugeki because the they ones who just aren't giving up. Because yeah. while this all was Which happening, Ishiki Senpai was. Uh, um, writing in God. his own rule set into the thing and kind of one-upped the Elite Ten before they kicked him out of it. Yeah, before yep. he got booted. Yeah. yeah he and got once booted, again, Rindo Senpai uh, is dope, fighting for him, going, why do we have to kick him out? Yeah, She's awesome. She didn't get kicked out for that, you would think. But she, she, she's, like, tied to everything somehow because, like, I feel like anybody else who would have said that um, well, she's tied to everything. It, That's kinky. Yeah. Well, well I, <laughs> I want to see her tied to tied. Um, she, Calm if down. She, if she would have, uh, like, if anybody other, th- if any of the other members would have said that, like, I feel like they would have been kicked out for insolence. Um, but you for know, for insulin. Yeah, insulin. Um, nice. And so she's hanging in there. Um, but it, it was like Ko- uh, Koga <laughs> and Itsuki Senpai and like. Uh, buff uh, dude that walks around with big stick. He got kicked out, or was it a different guy? Uh, it was one of the dark haired generic ones that never talks. Or <laughs> says that you never meet. Yeah, so three yeah. of them got kicked um, out. Um, so and an then, interesting turn of events. Yeah, this episode actually felt a lot more like season one than any of the other episodes. 
this season to me. And it, I don't know, it just, it, I really liked yeah. this episode. It was, so, it was more, more plot relevant, like action mm-hmm. rather than just mm. plot or just action. Yeah. And it yeah. left like a super, super heavy fucking, uh, what's it called? Uh, God damn it. Yes, thank you. I'm like, uh, cliffhanger. Because we have uh, Rio, right? And Mm -hmm. random central guy who's mad. and Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson without the missing ear. He's got a face tattoo. Yeah, got a face tattoo. So we've got this guy versus Rio. And obviously they're both going to be fiery. And it's going to be an explosive competition or something. With fish. But it's like really cliffhangery because uh, what's her, uh, what's the silver haired knock? Uh, no, Alice. Uh, Alice, thank you, Jesus Christ. Remember she's uh, she's like fucking owner of a research thing and didn't even know it. And then the guy like insults her, and now they're in a now they're in a battle. But I mean, I don't know. I really liked the episode. It it's like coming back to how I liked the first season. So um, second season was good. But it wasn't as good as the first season to me. And then the early episodes of this one have been good. But this is, like, coming back. And I'm really starting to get into it. Yeah. And that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, The second season was more like tournament arc. Um, They're in a big tournament. Somebody's Mm going to win. Um, This is, like you say, kind of getting back to the the roots. And like we are just talking about, you know, this episode kind of sets up everything. Um, Mm Mm-hmm. The line is kind of drawn where we have this elite 10 and central moving out and kind of taking over and we're seeing some of their motives. And then we can see that everybody else like in these research societies are starting to fight back. So it's it's good to see that they're not just standing down and letting letting central take over. Um, but just moving Spending forward, over. you know, we'll see we'll see uh, which type of cooking wins innovation or communism. So <laughs> I also like that. um Arena is getting more, it seems like she's getting more character development. Um, and it's not just the same, like, I'm Sundry. Well, I hope you're ready for Arena because that's all we're going to get for the rest of the season, probably. <laughs> that's fine because I like her better now than I did at all during yeah. the first season. So, yeah. or the second. <laughs> so, yeah. um, she's a good character. It's, it'll be interesting. It'll be a fun season to watch if it keeps at this pace. So, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I mean, we'll see if it if it gets the uh, the twenty or so episodes because right now uh, anime list hasn't uh, updated it yet. So it's supposed I'm, to be twenty. Twenty. I think it's supposed to be like twenty five. Um, it got like leaked on some That's Chinese a long season website. Well, it's two seasons, right? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it got like leaked on some Chinese site, but they still haven't confirmed or denied. But at this point, it's probably, probably the way the pacing it. is going. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Because the way it's paced right now for the mid-season finale, it's going to end with, you know, this battle between mm-hmm. Ryo and the fiery lion dude. Um, mm-hmm. And, I mean, that just goes with the the way the opening sequence is animated. So, like, we haven't seen anything mm-hmm. else looming other than, like, the looming battle between uh, Soma and... Uh, I can't remember the number one seats seat guy is thing. Um, yeah. The white knight or whatever. Yeah. The guy who tries to be not memorable, so it's all about the food. Yeah, the guy that likes to bow down to his carrots. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Bend over for his carrots. He likes to bend over for his carrots. Yeah, yeah. carrots. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, that's what they're talking about. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> not grabbing, at least he's not grabbing butts. No. But he is grabbing them yeah. loins, the pork loins. Oh. I'm looking Lit. up his name right now. Uh, yeah. Where are you? Who is it? Who is it, bro? Where are you? He doesn't have a name. I don't even know. It's the White Knight. His That's his name. <clears throat> Ishi. Oh, is he, a, is he a guy on Twitch? <clears throat> yeah. Ishi, White Knight? Ishi Aishi Sukasa. That's his name. Okie dokie. So that guy. But, you know, I mean, I'm looking forward to next episode. Should be good. Should be back to those, like, 
typical battles that we're used to, I feel like, because it's like a head to head of two both really good people. So it'll were be they cool. cooking, was it salmon or like trout or something? I know it was a fish. I think it's I salmon. Yeah, I think it was salmon. <clears throat> so it'll be lit. But uh, on that note, um, anything else you guys want to add? Um, no, I don't think so. All right. I guess look out for out. Huh? that short for just because that we'll be doing. Yes, we'll be doing one right after this. Um, I also wanted to throw out Rolando and I have been talking about starting at homebrew because I'm going to be moving soon and I will be in closer proximity to that dude. And uh, wow, so we may try dude. and homebrew. Yeah, that dude. That so dude. We may try and homebrew. Maybe one of the beers we have will be uh, one of our own creations, and that would be uh, pretty okay. And Drew won't we'll try probably, it because he's too pussy. Will, I, Drew I won't, won't even try, try it, it because you, be guys like, will, you guys will get alcohol poisoning and die, and I'll just laugh. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll get alcohol poisoning, right? Yeah. And yeah, totally. Blind, That's going to Because you actually made yeah, moonshine, gonna... and then you'll die. Nice, dude. Nice. <laughs> moonshine. Mm, and then we'll die. Thanks for the confidence, asshole. Got him. Got him. <laughs> I I hope you get sexually terrorized tonight. Oh my god. By the jazz men. <laughs> oh, oh no, dude. <laughs> the no. jazz bottles. No. The jazz bottles. Um so anyways, with that, um, I don't really have any more uh, news or anything. Drew, you got any last uh, comments there, bud? I don't think so. Don't drink that beer that I got. I'm not even remind you what the name was, so you you, you can't get it. Yeah, but don't. what if they don't? Because they don't remember the name, they get it by accident. Oh shit! Mm-hmm. Fuck, your logic's yeah. too strong right now. Yeah, the Wilco Tango Foxtrot. The what the so fuck? That's the WTF. That, yeah, that is the name. Like, yeah. don't get that by Lagunitas. Maybe they T- made it so T- people yeah. be like, "What the fuck? This is awful." Yeah, I mean. Sorry, yeah, it was all a big joke. Wilco <laughs> Tango Foxtrot. It was a big joke by like, Lagunitas. Wilco Tango they, they Foxtrot. Got me. This is don't get good. don't get got, boys. Don't get don't got. Get got. <laughs> um, well, with that, um, check out our uh, WordPress anime on draft.wordpress.com. You can find our iTunes a link to uh, get our podcast on iTunes. You can also find links to SoundCloud and YouTube for all the episodes, as well as the shorts that um, we've done. Um, You can also find us on Twitter. Um, Should hopefully see some posts soon about this episode and the shorts and some other stuff. And don't wear shorts around uh, some uh, characters that we know. Yeah, Drew. Um, (laughs) because he will sexually terrorize you. He will sexually terrorize you. And on that note, this episode of, uh, anime on draft has finished sexually terrorizing you. Uh, and uh, sexually terrorizing your ears. (laughs) And, uh, with that, see y'all later. Bye.